Sorry, had to wait for... What the fuck? How are you having an encoding overload? What the f... God damn it. Oh, I know what's going on. Fuck you, Destiny. Okay. Um, hang on. I have to load into this character real quick because they won't have a cutscene or anything. Hang on. Um... Sorry, there's issues going on that aren't immediately visible. Okay. That's not a... <sighs> Hang on. Okay, so Destiny is a special little goddamn snowflake and refuses to let itself be captured normally, which means that... I can't do any sort of, like, display capture, which... Or not display capture, game capture, which will sometimes help with reducing encoding overload. Sometimes. Uh, it also won't let you change video settings... ...until you've loaded into a character. Which means that I can't fix the fact that there was an encoding overload there that wasn't immediately visible to y'all. Also, now this is just the way it's decided it's displaying. And because at some point since the last time I loaded up Destiny, I foolishly let in... Yeah, it's doing it right now. I let NVIDIA change its settings, which means that it's running at, frankly, absurd levels right now. Okay. by 1080 yeah oh my god why windowed full screen there we go that's the one you actually hmm. okay uh i forgot all of the weird things that destiny does visual wise okay uh just set this to high da, 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 da. no your motion blur has always been awful okay Hopefully that will fix it. Okay. That looks like it's fixed it. Okay. Now we can load over to the character that I didn't do any of the stuff on yet, specifically. Ugh. Sorry. Kind of expected that was how... Oh my god. It hates the menus. The menus are making the encoder overload. That's a new one. No, just very bright menus. They're not terribly good. Oh, this is gonna be able to charge with the case on, is it? We have no choice but to reach back. Sorry, my watch is dying, so I'm also trying to recharge it well. Cause we're about to have like four cutscenes in a row. I don't know why it opened with that one. That has nothing to do with any of the stuff that's happening, but that's the cutscene they decided to start with. Now we have this one. Sorry, I've seen these before, which is why I'm just like, uh, he's... Because <laughs> I had to load in with the other character to see them real quick. Um, so that I could change some of the settings. Right, I have Steam stuff turned off, so that doesn't work anymore. Curses! And I'm out of coffee. A nice lazy coffee, then. Also mute me while I'm doing this. Oh, 
not enough water in it, so I have to get up and do more stuff. So I guess I'll do that later. Okay. Quick rundown of all the shit that we just saw happen. They'll explain it sort of in a minute, but not well, so I'm going to do a quick explanation for myself. Um, we've spent all of the past, the last season, the season of The Worthy, uh, basically waking Rasputin, that big honkin' AI, up and getting him empowered, for lack of a better word. Um, and we knew that the darkness in the form of those pyramid ships was going to be arriving soon. Oh. We need boots on the ground on Io. Recon. Why are you having encoding errors? It's already disabled, Rasputin. Oh, I bet I know another thing I can do actually after this. We both know what that means. Eris is our best chance at understanding what we're up against. I need her at the tower. She's too valuable an asset to find her guardian. Bring her home. Yeah, I bet I know what's going on for at least part of this then. Mmm, mmm, the beautiful 40 frames that y'all are seeing, sorry. A guardian without a ghost. I wonder how that must feel. Hollow. Unnatural. Oh, what the- when I look at that ship. Why did you disable Eris, my frame rate you cap, us? you fucker? Eris. Nothing. Zavala, come in. Any sign? My signals are being suppressed. I can't even summon a sparrow. What do you see? The pyramid. It's oppressive. Like a storm building. I forgot that it wasn't gonna enable. Get out ahead of it. Understood. <laughs> so that was the actual root issue, was that everything it was seeing was running at like the maximum possible frame rate. Oh you son of a whore. Okay. So the pyramid ships uh, we knew that the pyramid ships were arriving. The hope was that Rasputin would actually be able to, like, do something about them. Turns out, no. Not even, kind of. His his opening attempt failed masterfully. Uh, so masterfully that it somehow also shut him down. Um, yes. Bungie continuing to show how much they invest into their matte painting department. The the hot take, I guess. Come here, item manager. I need my gear. Also, okay. So for anyone who uses who who plays Destiny, there's a couple of tools that I highly recommend that you use. Um, and one of them is Destiny Item Manager, which is this wonderful tool that enables you to do what I'm doing here, which is shift items over from different characters very easily. And without any issues, it's just like a you, you click things and they just go to where you want them to be. However, they have a um, they have a desktop app, which is basically just a Google Chrome window, basically, that's loading into their website. Or you can just load into their website. And I fucking love their uh, uh, their their desktop app. Also, because I loaded up their desktop app about a week ago and saw that. Just like, it, there's no way to make it go away. It's just constantly plastered at the bottom of the screen no matter what size you make the... No matter what size you make the window, and I love it. Um, ooh. Well, we'll see when we get the, the season's artifact. Cat, can, can I convince you to go get me some more water for the coffee maker? Of course not. That would bring me joy. Okay, so let's do this first opening story mission, and then we'll go. I'll go get some water for this coffee because I need more coffee. Yes, the twitch was necessary. The twitch was very necessary. Oh, also good news. Um, I I went to go to I. I so it turns out replacing the whole Ethernet cables with Cat 6 instead of the Cat 5e that I was using before was not a complete. Okay, that's fucked up. Was not a complete fix. 
Oh, good. Yes, we're just going right on in again, again. Okay, okay. Oh, that seems like a safe bet. Yeah, sure. Um, and have now. What the fuck is that? What is this place? I should move myself over to the other side so you can see when we get informed of where we've arrived, namely the court of Savathun. And then left. I uh, I wasn't expecting us to just immediately leave, okay? Um Uh I feel like I missed something in there now. I mean, I saw one shrieker. That didn't really look like a shrieker, but hey. Close to the cradle. I'm, I'm getting faint readings from Eris now. Let's keep moving. So I will say one thing that's making me very happy so far. They didn't spoil all the shit that's happening this season in a trailer. Is that you, Guardian? You're needed back at the tower. Zavala sent us. Of course he did. <laughs> I'm moving toward the cradle. It calls to me. It? What is it? The hive are frenzied. Pull them. Zavala, did you catch that? I can't triangulate a point of origin. I mean, I'm going to guess it's from the pyramid ship. But why am I killing with a shotgun? I don't need to do that anymore. Well, I why am I specifically killing with a shotgun? Um But because there was no trailer for this season, like the all of the information we have about this season came from the like 30 minute video that they put out as this like 30 minutes before this season came out was both about this season and like next year and frankly was a lot more about next year than this season so they didn't tell they didn't like spoil a bunch of things and I'm kind of okay with that it means that I'm actually looking forward to seeing what we get. Also, 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 once we've got this room clear, I have to show something that makes me really happy. I don't care if it probably won't be good. It makes me happy. That should not have worked. Okay, something is very angry behind me. That's not actually who I meant, but... I meant something over this way, but hang on a second. And scions. Okay. I ha This is the first time in several seasons that I've looked at the, the season pass stuff. And... Okay, that looks cool. Um, and seen one of the pieces of gear and gone... Oh! I want that because it actually looks fucking awesome. And it's this. We finally have a destiny sword that I unironically think looks fucking badass. <laughs> this thing looks fucking amazing. And I love it. This, so there's always, um, always, for, for this whole year there have been two seasonal weapons that are tied to, that you can only get from the season pass and then after a certain point you can make uh you can make it occasionally drop from like everything else that you do and last time it was a shotgun and an smg and just like oh i like swords they're bad but i like swords and i'm hoping that this is like a guardian width wide because just fucking look at it also it has its own frame i just realized that Vortex frame. Press right click to launch a heavy spin attack. Heavy attack strong. Okay. That's also fucking sweet. What I'm saying here is I need to get to level 30 as quickly as possible. Guardian, your assistance would not be unwelcome. 
Uh, that's a very large shrieker. Also, Eris is asking for help. Uh, Eris is yelling for help, which is not a thing I've personally ever experienced. Um, but I do feel like I should talk about some of the stuff that Bungie announced in their uh, video for folks who did not watch it. Namely, uh, that this is a thing we knew about going in, uh, that they're planning what's called, what are they calling it, sunsetting? Uh, for certain things. Holy shit. Basically, you saw on that sword, and I can open it again once we're safe, but basically that sword had a thing of the maximum light level that you can level this sword up to is, was, uh, 1,360. So basically, you can keep using this sword up until a certain point, at which point it will stop being, um, you will stop being able to upgrade it. So, effectively, Destiny, do or Bungie doesn't keep having to go, ah, fuck, we made this gun like, three years ago, and it's weirdly broken for this particular, uh, use case in this new season. Um, basically, they've introduced gun standard. Um, similarly to that, they're also going to be removing, uh, areas. Like, area- like, parts of the- the game. The way they announced this was really weird because they announced it immediately after talking about, for the second time in a row, yeah, we fucked up and did some really shitty, uh, like, FOMO strategies in this, uh, it, oh fuck, in the season we just wrapped up, as well as the season before it. God damn it, why will you not just die? Um, and immediately followed that with, on the other side of that, we're going to be putting a bunch of our, our worlds and such into the vault. Like the Disney vault, think, but yeah. Um, oh my god, you're literally already selling the next year's expansion. Okay. Um, I know 10th had a good breakdown of it, so I want to go check it real quick. It was... Uh, Mars, Mercury, Titan, and the Leviathan, which is above Nessus, will be cycled out in fall. I'm gonna level with ya. Mercury is and always has sucked. Mars has never really been great either kind of the same thing with Titan, just because it's tiny and they never did anything with it. You like, you go there for like two story missions uh, at, at launch, and then just like never again. Um, and then the weird one that I don't get is removing the Leviathan, because this is a lot of stuff. Like, the Menagerie is a big thing, but I guess also... A lot of the, the, a lot of the Leviathan stuff was developed by not Bungie, so that might come down to it. Um, and I personally really like the Tribute Hall, but the Tribute Hall is basically, we made an instance entirely for grinding. I can also assume Leviathan is only for plot reasons. That is the thing, though, yeah, that is four raids. However, part of that is that they are introducing... At the very least, uh, Europa, which is a, uh, it's another plant, like, it's a stellar body in the solar system whose name, I, like, what it is, I don't remember. I think it's a moon. It might just be a planetoid. Um, they're also introducing the Cosmodrome, which will be another area on Earth, which is back from Destiny 1. They've also said that they're bringing, uh, they did not make it clear if this was at launch or not but with the new expansion that they will be bringing back the Vault of Glass, the raid that arguably saved Destiny 1. Um, I said it would be early next year. Okay. Um, 
Oh, yes, and weirdly, today they're also launching a new dungeon. I don't know where it is, and it's not out until 5 Pacific, but there's a new dungeon. Yeah, that is weird, though, that we're losing four... We're losing four raids. Admittedly, they're raids that, at in the current system don't give anything worth worthwhile like they give things that people want for cosmetics but like nothing that is actually worthwhile and given the plan to start sunsetting gear it'll be even less good so there won't be a reason to go back and do it so i can kind of see it from that perspective and given that their system doesn't actually balance in any way it just balances if you're too weak there's no like i'm too strong therefore i can solo content there isn't even the excuse of well you could go back and solo it to get the gear uh they did imply that transmog is going to be a thing which hopefully means that we won't just have the stuff that they let us have for transmog like we'll we'll have actual transmog stuff um so i guess the hope there, without saying it out loud, is that they want you to go do that raid content while it exists so that you can unlock it. There will be a way to convert gear into ornaments. Okay, that I would actually be kind of on board with, mostly because the Iron Banner stuff from the beginning of this year was the best-looking Iron Banner shit I've ever seen, and I want it. I always want to have it be accessible. Um... The other thing that they showed for anyone who played Destiny 1 and may have fallen off is that uh, this new expansion that we're heading into, they used a bunch of different names, which is why I'm still not entirely clear on which fucking, what the name of the expansion is, because it was, um, they're referring to everything that we're heading into as uh, Beyond, Beyond Light, which is the fall expansion, and then the, in theory the 2000... 21 expansion would be Witch Queen and 22 would be Lightfall because they like I said, because it's fucking stupid, they're not going and making a Destiny 3 they're just going like, no, look, it's Destiny 2 we will keep supporting this given product and just keep adding on to it because in this day and age we don't need to do a sequel we can just keep doing these sort of expansion things uh, the other really big thing though for fall what is that i was about to ask that the other really big thing for fall is that oh it's like the thing in the garden of salvation um the raid that got added in shadow keep had we went into the garden of salvation which is technically also the vault of glass no different place is it might be the same place um it's a place inside the Vex network. Um, and we found a statue... Black Garden, thank you. That's what it was, not the Vault of Glass. Um, they found a statue like the one we found on the, the pyramid ship under the moon. Under the moon's surface. Uh, that had... The Black Garden had sort of like grown around it in this perfect sphere where like nothing would get any closer... And this is kind of like an inverse of that. Like, you can see there's there's the negative space sphere on the inside. And Io in Destiny lore is relatively famous as the last place that the Traveler stopped off at before it kind of shut down and settled on Earth. The Traveler being the distinct opposite of uh, the darkness. Also... Sorry, because I, I didn't finish this thought. Uh, they're adding new... a Not only are they adding a new class... Not new class. New subclasses in Fall. The new subclasses will have... Uh, will be of a new element. Namely, an element that is... Uh, like, associated with the dark specifically. And is called Stasis. And they showed, like, brief little snippets of what they would be, though I couldn't immediately tell, ooh, what each class was. Like, I couldn't tell which one looked like, um, 
a warlock and which one was titan or anything like that. Especially given that if it's a new subclass, it will by its very nature then have like three more distinct subclasses as well. Also, goddammit, I'm... Oh. Us back in. The encoder's overloading again. Here, just V-Sync on to 60 FPS. This should be fine then. I love hanging out in... Not the Taken... Those are all eyes. Yes, they are. Those are definitely all eyes. You saw ice and axe throwing, and that's enough for me. I saw... Um, yeah, stasis seemed to be basically ice. Um, the, the thing that I saw was someone using a staff, and given that hunters already have a staff class, I kind of assumed it would be war that would be the warlock. Crap, 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 crap. And I would assume axe being, uh... Crap, what's it called? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Titan, because... They also have hammer, and let's be honest here, if you're gonna give anyone an axe, wait, was it a big axe or a small axe? Because if it's like a small, like one-handed axe, then I'd actually guess hu uh, hunter. But if it was a big two-handed axe, then my assumption changes to be... Oh, okay, then maybe hunter. Yeah, the only one that I really noticed was the staff, but still, hey, it's it's a whole new element, and it means effectively three new subclasses per, or per, maybe two, we'll see. Uh, uh, some number more subclasses per, per job? Per class, I guess, technically. I've never been clear on what the hell... Envoy of Sabathun and something else? Two Envoys of Sabathun, okay. I'm sorry, did you want that shield? Well, then you should stop sending people at me. Also, maybe don't use fire shields against me, because for some reason I'm kitted out with solar right now. Fuck off. Hey, wonky... Goodbye. There we go. Um, so yeah, basically for anyone who is is playing Destiny or has ever wanted to play Destiny, it looks like they're actually gonna be doing a bunch of good stuff again. Like they continue to like there's a there's a reason why even when I get really fucking annoyed with them, I continue to keep coming back to the game because the shooting is good, the lore is. Interesting? Too many of them. Ooh, oh god, they're all looking at me. I can't go through here. Oh, shittles. Oh, right, the other thing. Sorry, that I started saying for anyone who played Destiny 1 uh, and is coming back. The trailer that they showed for Beyond Light includes... Eris? The Drifter, this being Eris, for anyone who hasn't, d hasn't met her. Something. And the Exo Stranger from Destiny 1 meeting up. From the, last place the, traveler touched before it left. the Exo Stranger who has not been in the Destiny 2. Is drawn here, as the hive is drawn to the darkness. These eyes of mine. The things they have seen. That. What the fuck is that? Something that does not want us here. Darkness. No. But it is of the darkness. It has to be you this time. Seed of Silver Wings. I repeat, come in. We hear you, Zavala. Have you found her? The seed breaks through the interference. Eris. Zavala. Report back to me in the tower, both of you. 
Our transmissions may be compromised. Let's not keep him waiting, Guardian. Honestly, I kind of, wow, you are not doing okay. Um, I kind of want to see if I can go find just the Beyond Light trailer, just so I can show it to y'all and go like, look, here, here, are, here are things. What did you find? It found me. The darkness reached out, but something interferes. Its messages to us are being defaced. Defaced? By the witch sister of the Taken King, Oryx. Seraphim. Your obsession gives her power. No. She feeds on denial. Ignorance. The Guardian has Technically, they're both right? Circumvent her. A seed of silver wings. Eris. If the darkness reaches out, we must reach back. I will not sanction this. We are beyond sanctions. It is here. I will return to Io. If we cannot determine what the darkness seeks, we will find ourselves on the verge of a second collapse. Perhaps that is what Seraphim wants. Please, don't. Let me go, Zavala. According to spectral analysis, the pyramid, its propulsion, the energy it's manipulating on Io, I don't see a ship. I see a being. Paracausal in nature. Like the traveler. All records of the like us too, you on idiot. The, first day, the sky filled with darkness. On the second, the traveler fell. Help Eris where you can, but be ready to deal with the enemy fleet when it arrives. We need you, Guardian. I'm sitting on my foot and it's asleep. Ow! Now I'm regretful of that choice. Wait, don't I have water right here? I do have water right here! So what if I get rid of the water I was setting aside to drink? Thought that was going to be enough. Damn it. Okay. It's really hopeful there. Oh, it is on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. I'm sorry. It is enough water. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to let this make that because it's going to be loud and then we will watch it because I want to go over it real quick about all of the important things that are happening. Okay. Light Sanction. Enter the new Prophecy Dungeon free to all players. That I like because technically I think you still have to buy Shadowkeep to play the current one or the 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 pit the pit of heresy whatever it's called. the exotic ornament tab <laughs> accidentally lead to the upcoming exotic. Fucking hell! <laughs> Apple, thank you very much for the 11 month reset. Sorry, that anger was in response to your... The exotic ornaments tab accidentally leaked two of the upcoming exotics. You know, like they fucking always do. God damn it. So, fight against uh, enemies in darkness and new contact public event. Focus umbral engrams at the prismatic recaster to choose your rewards. Ooh, always like being able to choose rewards. Uh, drive out, drive enemies out of the cradle each week to uncover messages of darkness. New exotic weapons and assist vanguard members caught in the invasion. There's only two vanguard members left, unless you're using this as a chance to finally fill Cade's open spot and earn exclusive season pass rewards. Okay. First, I should go grab this. Oh, I didn't realize we'd come with a full set of the new gear. 
which is in my box. Oh, these are all marked as Season of the Undying now. That's weird. But they also all look dumb, so I'm definitely going to just DE them. Um, let's see. Oh, god damn it. Okay, I think it's done. But I need to see how the new outfit looks. Why do all Warlock Bonds just kind of look dumb? Yep. Oh shit, you can't see the helmet in... Okay, okay, but that robe is sweet. That robe is sweet. That robe is sweet. And then we have a kinetic grenade launcher named Wither Horde. Like a one man's private security company from... Oh, of course it's tied to the fucking drifter. Countermass, black powder, break the bank. Blighted targets take damage over time and blight the nearby area on death. Okay. And Primeval's Torment, projectiles fired from this weapon, blight the target or nearby areas on impact. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh yeah, assuredly we'll be seeing a lot of the Drifter this season. Okay, now then. Ooh, that's loud. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Sorry, that was a sneeze, and I bit the inside of my lower lip doing it, so I'm very impressed with my... Ow, I am bleeding. Wow, I was really good. Okay. So this is the bit that we already saw. It's just the drifter launching his weird little tiny ship over to Europa from uh from his from the hauler, his big honking silly ship Eris also going to the same place a gun that we have seen before but Or, gun that we have seen in Destiny 2. Destiny 1, sorry. I don't think that gun is in Destiny 2. Wow, yeah, I am actually bleeding. What the fuck? Eris is somehow already using stasis uh, this early. Like I said, stasis appears to be tied to ice. you here to see. Okay, I'm hoping this probably doesn't actually have the, the combat stuff that they showed then, I guess. Um, of, of course it includes no time to explain. Okay, so the quick run through there is that basically... Um, okay, there is a second trailer. Good. Ah, fuck. Now talking actually really hurts. Um, what we know about the Exo Stranger is that she comes from somewhere else. Possibly a different timeline, because she seems to be able to... Her powers don't seem to match up with, uh, it, even in Destiny 1, they didn't match up with other Guardians or even people... 
uh, any other like light bearers that we knew of. Um, so, for a long time, it was believed that she just wasn't tied to us in any possible way. Uh, in fact, she specifically said she came from a place where the darkness had already won. And, Tenth, can you correct me if I'm wrong? Is that the first time we've seen whatever that was floating with her that looked like it was clearly supposed to evoke a ghost without being a ghost? Um, and here's the other one the Tenth uh, threw in already, so thank you. Where okay. I come from, the darkness won. She's related to a I planetary vendor? I firsthand. I refuse to let it happen again. Oh, hey, there's that line. Um, yes, she's believed to be connected with, uh, Clovis Gray. In that she might be the truth presented itself one you. of them, I can't remember which one. Darkness resides within, beckoning you. Oh, right, this the other the thing that- we cannot hide from. This is all stuff on Europa, and that and just so reminded me- to embrace it. That just reminded me of one other thing, which is that we know that Europa also contains the Deepstone Crypt, which is the place where the Exo were made. Uh, Elsie, yeah. But is she... I don't think we've ever had confirmation that she is Elsie Bray, just that that is the prevailing fan theory. Unless I'm confused on that. Also, hey, finally, we have another fucking expansion with Fallen as the, the real enemies. After a year of uh, Hive and Vex. The I like the Fallen, I don't know why I really like the Fallen. Is so very thin. Okay, hang Let's on, now we, we're together. gonna start seeing Stasis stuff. That's the staff I was talking about, I think that's a Warlock. Oh, yep, that's definitely a hunter with, like, crazy weird throwing axes. I will give these guardians the destruction they crave. I don't think I saw a titan doing anything, though. The raid is taking place in the crypt? Sweet. So yeah, that is all that we we have so far. Uh, well, besides like questions that have been answered in uh, the the write up that they posted afterwards, which I have not seen. But needless to say, despite the fact that I continue to get salty about uh, Destiny fucking constantly because they keep pursuing the worst possible versions of FOMO, fuckers keep making a good game, and I'm very annoyed about it. Drifter takes a look at your trusty sin- Oh, fuck off. No, I don't care about this. Hell, that's probably- Oh, God, I actually can't wait for that to get, uh, moved out. Oh, Moon Dust thinks we can use the darkness we catch to charge that seed. Might cut through all that pesky interference in the Kratom. Might let her tell you what Sabathun doesn't want you to know. Good thing, too, because it is wacky out there. <laughs> Look around. Cabal, Fallen, bunch of unsavory types looking to stake their claim. Jokers can't even see we're boxed in. We've been boxed All in since 2014. Pull through. <laughs> no pressure. I don't know why this cat is passed out. Drifter smiles when he sees you come come into the room. Then again, it seems like he's smiling smiling already. When things get dark, everyone comes running to old Drifter. He crackles. Eris mentioned your situation. Said you could use a little guidance, a steady hand. Shrugs. Guess I'll have to, huh? I don't have to tell you that that seed you got is all kinds of special. Take it down to where those pyramids are busy changing the honest dirt into something they like more. I threw together a souped-up bank to help. Easy money says you'll do great things together. Okay. 
Darkness con uh, concentration. Contact has been made with the lost cradle. Uh, lost oasis on Io. Drifters tech to harvest. Okay, sure. Sharp. Sure. Take the seed of silver rings to an invasion site on Io or Titan. Oh, good. So they are trying to get us to do at least some stuff on Titan before they make it go away. Okay. Oh, right, I wanted to go check items. <laughs> okay. Oh, good, we've got... Oh, we've got mods for every weapon instead of sort of, like, grouping them up. Nice. Overload on arrows! Yes! Fuck yes! Okay. I always like overload on arrows. Unstoppable on pulse rifles and... Oh my god, this is just, like, the best options. Wait. Okay, yeah. Wait. Anti-barrier just... for everything? Okay. Okay. Kind of hoping that we lose Axis Titan because we, like, lose it, Darkness take it over or something. We'll see. I don't think they've ever really felt a need to go do that that level of explanation for any of the other ones. but Or for the stuff that we don't have access to from Destiny 1, but we'll see. I'd appreciate it, but I, I the one concern I have with that is that they almost assuredly want to make sure we can come back. Whenever they want to bring it out of the vault. Well, say, Sarah Jane, how are you doing? Enhanced pulse rifle loader, unflinching rifle aim. Okay, so these are all pretty standard. Uh, okay, and this is the usual kind of useless one because it's just ways to get more money. Counter charge. Become charged with light whenever you or a member of your fire team staggers or disrupts a champion or appears. Wow! So anytime you fuck up a shield, become charged with light. Okay. Uh, aiming down pulse rifle sight, load a high impact bur Wait. Hang on. This is just an arm mod that lets you turn every pulse rifle you equip into a... Okay. Uh, you were very right, 10th. Like, the... I like this a lot. Vo okay, void grenades... Void and Solar looks like is what they're they're pushing us for spec wise this this one. Grants mailing and grenade energy when you get a shield pierce weapon or yeah sh damage with a shield pierce weapon. Inferno whip is back okay. Oppressive darkness solar plexus is back. Heavy finisher vile volatile conduct. Oh wait, there's ones for arc too. Okay, cool. Huh. Yeah, this gives you a lot of variety. I am on board with this. I am definitely on board with this. <gasps> oh god, if the arm works with exotics, you can actually give exotic pulse rifles a useful thing? Oh. Stop by your LGS at like 8pm, chat the owners in SO. Launchers after midnight? Oof. Yeah, I, uh... I haven't done exactly that, but I've been doing some similar things lately. Just going like, what the fuck? What do you mean it's X o'clock at night? How the fuck did that happen? Okay, so we've got... Wait. Why do I have stuff from... Hmm. Oh, that's gotta be... Oh, okay. That's... I just realized that that's gotta be the quest from Banshee for getting... Uh, the new grenade launchers catalyst and the other one is just i have a cosmetic to crack open so let's go do those and then we can head out to io and check out what the new stuff is let's get you back out there yup some gun guns need to finish what they started long ago you're just along for the ride okay so what are we doing? High stakes heist? What? Acquire vault keys by defeating 
Combatants with kinetic or special grenade launcher rapidly defeat combatants on your chance to receive a key. Okay, well, guess I'm fucking using this grenade launcher then. I should probably just dump all my extra stuff in the vault because we're going to be getting a bunch of new gear because it's a new season. A mnemonic engram. Great. Okay. Ooh. That is a very pretty ship. Okay. Doing our best Eris Morn impression. Ooh. Okay, that's actually a really cool ghost shell. That's a very pretty ghost shell. New finishing moves. I'm guessing they're all going to be silly, but I want to see them anyway. Yup. Yep, very silly. Um, anything bright dust that I might actually want? Nope. No? Wow, that's a powerfully ugly thing. I thought I actually had that, but I guess not. Ooh, that is a good ghost shell. Okay, and looks like everything else either I have or just don't care about. Okay. Uh, except you. Come here. Okay. Off to Io we go! I just want to see what it... Okay. I hate that I'm probably going to do this, but I'm probably going to do this. Uh, Io, where are you hiding from me? Oh, I know. It's the place with the... Oh, okay. So you have to actually complete... Okay, so that's where the thing is. Okay. Sorry, I'm just I'm, I'm not finishing sentences while talking to myself, so sorry about that. Yeah, the place with the giant pyramid on it. Hello, cat butt. Hello, cat butt. Such a good boy. His life is just so hard. We do not know the endless suffering that he goes through on a daily basis, mostly because I just need to pet him. Ow, asshole. Sorry, he just bit me. I'm trying to get back into the tower to continue main story for the past four minutes. Oh, good. I envy you, Eris. You don't have to feel the darkness tugging at your core. I feel their hooks at every moment that a light. Then you know. What the fuck is your power level at if you're. Marked as red for me. So when they say bank charged, what they actually just mean is that... Or what he means by bank is just he's he's literally... Like, just dropped a bunch of his banks here so that we can steal power from other beings to feed it to a pyramid ship? This seems like a bad idea, Drifter. This seems like a very bad idea, in fact. I, uh... Surprisingly, the Drifter might not have the best forethought. Who'd have guessed? Besides literally anyone who's ever spoken two words to the man. Ah, oh, fuck, of course, it's gonna be like 1020. It also has a heroic version you accidentally triggered? Oh, good! Oh, speaking of which... Oh! 
hello, Mr. Giant Angry Taken Motherfucker. What the hell sword is that? What the hell sword was that? Because I want it. Because it looks fucking sweet. I don't, I don't know if y'all were able to see that because it was only on screen for like a second. But it was like a big, angry Kopesh. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is going on here? Shittles. See, this is the issue of not currently having a kinetic weapon equipped. Um. And not... Shit, having one to just gra- Here, you. I love you. Get over here. Okay. Yeah, so look, I was I was asking what the... Uh, hang on. I was talking about the big angry Kopesh, but there's also just a hole in reality on top of this fucking cliff. And I find that equally disturbing. Fuck, why does this have to reload? Okay, that's actually a really cool sight. For a grenade launcher, but it's a really cool sight. Shit. Fuck the high value target. We need to actually try and not die here. That. That sword. Nope, that's not it, because that's, uh. Oh, good. They spawn elites. Of course. Er, champions. Of course they fucking spawn champions. No. Don't go in the thing. Don't go in the thing. Don't go in the thing. God damn it. I'm starting to think that this gun might actually not do good stuff. Not this gun. But the, the grenade launcher doesn't do anything to Taken. Because they have a animation for when they get hit by it that just seems to imply that nothing happens. Wait, but the Season Sword is a badass uh, uh, thingamajig. Like, why was the Kopesh the Season Sword? Executioner's Blade. That's what the Season Sword is. I couldn't words for a second. No! It's gonna escape! Fuck. Damn it, we were actually really close there. Okay, now then, what the fuck is was that thing I saw? Season, not season pass? Ah, wait, there's two swords? That's a weird choice, but okay. I want to get up to whatever that thing is. Also, reload all of my guns before I forget about it. Ah, uh, Warlock Jump, sometimes you betray me. Mostly because of how fiddly you are. Okay. Victory! Oop. Never mind. Ugh. Crap, 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 crap. Okay. Let's not fuck it up this time. Wait. What are you? Okay, never mind. Its weapon type is caster frame? Oh, I love that they're doing more stuff with swords. Wait, did the thing just move? Oh, shit. What? Uh, it just left? Oh, okay, now I think I understand. So it's actually just, we're, we're transmatting in the banks. 
under the things. Okay. Caster is right-click projectile attack. Sweet. I still... The Executioner Blade one just looks so fucking cool. Yeah, plants... Play tra place transmat location. Okay. Also, a lightweight kinetic bow. Oh, thank fuck. We don't. Ha we only have like one actual kinetic bow, not counting exotics. Yes. Contain the spread of this infestation, and we will utilize what we capture to decipher the pyramid's intentions. Oh, I fucking love a grenade launcher that doesn't bounce. Fuck. Can only carry, what is that then, like eight moats? Uh, I guess there were a bunch down there, so maybe it was more than eight. Do, 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 do. But mostly what I'm hearing here is that we're getting all the... All of my favorite weapons. Oh, okay, so that's just the animation for something being charged with light. Okay. Okay, so it is ten. Ten is the max. Good. Gimme, 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 gimme. Fuck you. I said fuck you. I said fuck you. What the fuck is... Okay, that's a thing. Kramer, that joke stopped being funny, like, the eighth time that someone did it. Actually, it stopped being funny, like, the first time someone did it. But I kept laughing. Seriously. Sorry, I'm... I don't think you understand exactly how many times I have heard that joke at this point. Because it's a lot. Please stop shooting at me for, like, eight seconds. Okay, this does reflect my one big issue that they keep running into with these seasons when they increase the light level by any amount. Which is that... Hang on. I am not even gonna get one level of this, am I? Uh, which is that... They expect you to go out and do the thing, but if you can't successfully do the thing... No point continuing this attempt. Fuck off, Eris. Regroup. Um there's more battles to come. Like, it's throwing champions and stuff at me that would be fine if there were other players, but if there aren't other players, then it's just I'm just gonna die now. Okay. You need that mod. Okay, so that's annoying. Uh, but I think part of the issue is actually just that I seem to keep getting thrown to a different server. Um. Wait. Oh, I have to go talk to... Oh, I did get an umbral. Oh, okay, because I got an umbral thing from mid. I still need to go talk to Drifter. Oh, derp. Okay. Um, there's catch-up mechanics in the system for people who skipped past stuff. Uh, let you find stuff out in general. Okay. Also, sorry, Tramer. I misread your message. I thought you were making the same joke about how 
whenever things are happening, I tend to say, fuck me. So that was entirely my bad for not actually reading your message. I'm sorry about that. Yes, I moved a dog collar, you spaz. I'm just wondering what catch-up mechanics would be necessary. But I am at the very beginning, so I would have no idea what catch-up mechanics would be necessary. So that kind of makes sense. Drifter, hey, I have this weird thing. I was told to show you this weird thing. Look, I thought I had to succeed at doing one, not just do one. <laughs> I saw you snag that Ingram. You think no one was looking? You ready to get dark? Chuck it on the pie, and let's see what old Drifter could cook up for you. Been kit bashing gear since that jerk ghost pulled me out of my grave. Got a knack for it, I guess. I'm intrigued to see I what this means, but okay. Nice. As you enter the annex, Drifter's nostrils flare and his dark eyes snap up to meet you. The effect is slightly unsettling. What's that sizzling in your pocket? You brought me back a puzzle, huh? Pull out the en the umbral engram. Drifter grins and thumbs towards a machine humming nearby. Just so happens I've got a puzzle solver here. What do you say we crack that little thing open and taste the yolk? Say, that's a really weird way of putting it, but okay. Prismatic recaster. It <laughs> Welcome to my machine. It's like a crypt dog that won't judge you. You're like two feet away! <laughs> Engrams of darkness aren't meant to be solved in the light. Umbral engrams touched by the darkness of the pyramids cannot be decrypted by any light-bearing cryptarch. Bring any umbral engrams or focused umbral en engrams you find to Drifter's umbral encoder to unlock the secrets within. And then there's everyone looking at this thing? Prismatic containment. Containment unit able to siphon darkness from the seed of silver wings and harness its volatile energy. Okay. I assume we will learn about that as we decode more engrams. It's the chosen one. The burnt ozone gods lately. The burnt ozone smell of the umbral decoder still hangs in the air, Drifter nods approvingly. Got something nice, huh? You're a natural. You seen the containment unit in the corner? I call it the prismatic recaster. Piece together from junk I had lying around. Shrugs instantly. What can I say? Thirsty fellow is be ready to make... Uh, <laughs> should always be ready to make lemonade. Okay. That recaster can focus the darkness from your seed. Help me skim, from, skim some of that sweet darkness. Upgrade it a few times. And you'll come out of this with full pockets and a, and a smile on your face. Okay. Compete a playlist strike, crucible match, or gambit match. You feel that energy crackling in the air? It's something big. Play around a gambit and see what's changed. Guess you could take a strike or crucible match instead, but we know that is fun. I, hmm. Yeah, but gambit takes way too fucking long. Also, it looked like the umbral uh, gave me another lonesome, which... I'm on board with. I like Lonesome. It's a solid gun. Actually, wait. I can just check it in dim. Yes, it did. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. But with nothing special about it, so I don't really feel a pressing need to go get it out of my box. Yeah, that's sort of what I figured. Was that this was this season's... Sundial, Pillar, Rasputin, brah, 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 brah. My only hope is that they will please do the thing that they did the first two seasons, which is make the event that we're working on playable through matchmaking. 
because that was the biggest issue with having to do the Seraph Towers, is that it was balanced as a six-person thing, but you can't match-make a thing on a planet. And you can't ma and you can't even go, hey, six friends, let's all play together. You can only go, hey, two people, come with me and we'll hope that there's two people down there. Okay, I was just like, uh, can I can I have my my bond? Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to save all of these just in oh my god. My connection to this game is just awful right now. So that I can turn them into ornaments later. Because I really liked the last season's gear set. It just looked good. Check them right now. Check, check, check. Okay, you all get broken down. You get broken down because you're just ugly as sin. At the very least, for once, the connection issues aren't on my end. They're on Destiny. Ooh, that's a new, uh, that's a new issue. Guitar. Uh, well, let's just go do a Crucible match. Clash? Yeah. Or fuck it, let's just do a... The problem is to do any of these, I want to go make sure that I have the, the bounties to benefit from doing them. I cannot wait to see the bow. Like, I I love that you so far you've said that there's a bow and two swords, and I'm just like, yes? My favorite weapon classes that are just bad? Yes? Like, I know there is plenty of bows that are actually quite good, but in general, it feels like most bows aren't as good as a gun, and I've seen almost no cases where you want a sword over any other heavy weapon, but I'm just like, it's a sword! <laughs> like, I can kill- I can kill aliens with a sword. I- I have to be on board with this. It's like a law or something. Where's my demon cat? And don't worry, I did not bite my- the inside of my face again when I sneezed. It was just that that last sneeze I was very aggressively trying to contain. And I did so in a very stupid way, I guess. Okay. I love that this is just sitting by Zavala probably until next year. I've learned over years to listen when I want. Let's begin. Yeah, give me your quest. Make good use of it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how it's a light frame, but I love it. I need it. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh, it turns out that I might just really like stupid visual designs. I need it. It's so good and it's so bad. Okay, what am I doing? Rocket launcher, sword, challenging components. Okay. Well, guess I'm getting rocket launcher this one. Oh my god! I hate play. Why did I do this? I always forget just how bad Destiny servers are right when a season launches. Like, usual, like, the tower is always fucked for me, but if I can get into a strike, I'll probably be fine. So, hey, well, it has no idea where the hell we are. Let's just try and load into it. What the? Why is matchmaking disabled? Also, what is the current thing? Solar, okay. Oh, hey, I'm already in solar. What the hell do you know? <laughs> okay, yep. Yup, that that helmet looks awesome. That helmet looks awesome. Valorant has a four hour maintenance today. Uh and a one gig patch. Well shit, I should probably start downloading the patch then. 
hopefully that includes maintenance or not maintenance includes a fucking balance patch for reyna because she is not fucking balanced do, 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 do. Uh, never never open never open your patch notes with surprise don't lie you didn't think you'd get patch notes this week it's like no I didn't think we did, but we fucking needed it. Um, but that says more about me being concerned that you fuckers are gonna do two hours of maintenance, or are gonna do two weeks of. Uh, let's let's see if Raina balances out. Wow, they nerfed Sage's wall again. Wait, really? There's only... F oh, god damn it! I saw Sage on it, and then saw Reyna and, uh, Cypher, but I thought it was... Reyna was also being patched. No, she got a fix? Fucking hell. Okay, Ascent. Fix several spots where weapons were falling through the world. I didn't see that, but okay, cool. And issues with wall penetration? Like, overly easy penetration, or too hard? Modified several callout names. Better match, uh, player terms. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Spike Rush update. Each Spike Rush game now features a set of five randomly selected orbs. The full ultimate orb will always be available for the remaining seven orb types to be chosen at random. Okay. And there's a new orb type of health orbs. Okay. Oh. Wait. There's health, deception, and golden gun orbs. Apply paranoia to the enemy team. Three seconds after capture. Ten second debuff. Vision is greatly reduced and... Fake footsteps and gunfire play for affected players. Okay, that's cool. Minimap is disabled. Golden gun. One shot, one kill. Perfectly accurate at all times. Agent moves at night. What the fuck? Oh, only has a single run. The wow, okay. Golden gun seems cool and stupid and not okay. I thought I recognized the voice of Osiris. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm really far behind. Um, I, it's the first thing that comes up if you just type in Valorant patch notes, uh, but I can throw them up in a minute. Like, now we're actually playing, so now I can't. But, in a few minutes. Actually, I totally can because I'm so far behind the rest of this team. Yeah, seriously, Sage nerf, but not a Reyna nerf? What the fuck? Okay, what are the fixes then for Reyna? Fixed visual effects that obscured Reyna's screen if she scoped while healing. Yes, she needed that help. What? I I don't understand any of this logic, but okay. Whoop. That was a bit close for comfort. Okay. But seriously, like... I get that Sage's Sage's wall is too fucking strong. Can, can just why do you have to keep nerfing it? Like it, it's already significantly less good now. Um, Odin Sun, it is. So uh, uh, I I I kind of did a whole run through of all what the changes are so give me a where the hell did i can't get back there can i can't maybe i can't hang on <gasps> nope can't get back there warp gate only works one way the taken and the vex share one key ability the power to infect the very nature of one's existence Whoop. Um, but mostly pyramid ships are here. Uh, Rasputin tried to fight them. He lost immediately, like, in the opening cutscene. Uh, and it looks like the way that we're, we're fighting them is mostly by slipping closer and closer to the darkness, which is good because they announced that in fall we will be getting the like, a full new expansion, like we kind of expected, uh, which will involve 
uh, new subclasses for every class with a new element that are tied directly to now you are actually using uh, the darkness as a power. Oops, shit. Um, because we're getting, we're getting ice space magic in fall. Because for some reason, the darkness in this case is now tied to ice space magic. But I feel like it says a fair amount that I am supremely on board with the dumb shit that they're doing. Because dark is cold, I guess? I guess it also sort of feeds into the whole thing with the dark being, for lack of a better way of putting it, simple, or I guess, like, more straightforward. Um, that, like, cold tends to go sort of hand-in-hand -hand with starvation, as that sort of basic, uh, if this is how you're dying, it means that you've sort of, like, a lot of things have fucked up for you. sort of situation. I have no better way of putting it than that. I'm, like, it, it's reminding me of, um... You should now find yourself before an abyss of swirling data. Shit. Uh, winter in the extremely weird lore from, uh, oh my god, that game that I don't play anymore because it's developed by a horrible sex pest. Um... Uh, Cult of Simulator. Also, damn it, I died. Hey, Meandering, how are you doing? Since that's sort of the whole thing with the darkness in Destiny is that it follows... It sort of follows um, the, the sword logic. While the light follows what is, for some stupid reason, referred to as the bomb logic. Uh, for anyone who has no earthly idea what I'm talking about, basically, uh, the, the dark tends to follow straightforward plans with uh like as little complexity as possible but still by their very nature relatively brutal while the light tends to follow plans that are significantly more complex and not necessarily less brutal but in the long term, the, the like, complexity will tend to mean that it's more malleable. Which is why uh, the idea behind the, the pyramid ships is that they are literally, the, like, they are, as far as we now know, the beings that represent the darkness and are literally the most simple shape to produce in uh, three dimensions. Which I also uh, technically means they're not I really pyramids, they're... What is that now. shape called? Because it's not a pyramid. They're that specific shape. Um, kind of meanwhile, the Traveler, which represents light, is a sphere. A.K.A. like the most fucking difficult thing to uh, produce properly. Tetrahedron, thank you! Oh, goddammit. Probably shouldn't have wasted that missile, but whatever. Wow, that did not kill as much as I hoped it would. Yeah, but a pyramid implies a, 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 an extra side, doesn't it? Because to have the square base, you need to have... Uh, the fourth side. Oh my god, I hit him with that. And got a vault key for my troubles. I'll fucking take it. Shit. I remember back when this was difficult. 
Oh, are they? I didn't realize they were still considered pyramids. But god, I remember when Destiny 2 came out and doing this fucking strike was one of the most difficult things you could do. Because fighting Brachion was just a pain in the ass. And now it's entirely possible to actually just, like, blow him out. Damn it! Trying to get more rocket launcher kills right there, but... Meh. Wait, Trinity Ghoul has a catalyst now? Oh, fuck yes! I... what... what does its thing do? Apparently cipher cages were able to keep teleporter doors open on bind. Oh! Yeah, that seems like a fuck up. But I guess because they are a projectile that can inherently be thrown through the... the thing, that would cause an issue, wouldn't it? Damn it, I felt like I was getting better on that. But I guess not. Okay. Uh, hang on, I need to go get my Trinity Ghoul over here because I love that stupid bow. It is the dumbest goddamn gun I've ever seen. Or, well, gun, bow, weapon that I've ever seen. There it is. You, here, get over here. Okay. You go away. So, Trinity Ghoul... Oh, shit, I can't show it to you here. Trinity Ghoul is a bow that fires... For lack of a better way of putting it, it's basically a bow that fires... a, a scatter arrow. Like, it fires... When you pull it back, you can see it. It's actually, like, three arrows that are just sort of, like, barely held together... And if you just, like, pull back the bow a little bit and launch it, they spread. And if you don't, they stay much closer together, but they also get, like, charged with electricity. So I just, I can't wait to see what its thing does. Upgrade this masterwork. It will generate, yeah, okay. Masterwork weapon will also receive additional, okay, you don't want to tell me. Lightning rod now triggers from any arc damage final blow. Ooh. Yeah, so you can kind of see it here. How there's like three bars to it so as it launches it like spreads and its basic ability is that when you get a kill with it the next attack will be uh, charged with electricity I'll try and show it off because it, it really is one of my favorite bows actually I just like all the bows that's a lie I love all of them they're great Yo, I did your thing. Make a mighty fine team, Guardian and the Drifter. Drifter looks you in the eyes and puts his hands up, holds it awkwardly. With his other hand, he slowly reaches over and grabs your wrist, firmly pulling your hand upward to complete the high five. Now, I'm gonna get all technical here, but we, uh, we'll need twisted energy to keep the recaster purring. I'll give you what's left of my supply uh, to get you started. Slap this into the recaster and don't hold back when uh, when you find more. We're going to need all you can get if we're going to strike it big. Take that altered element and and see how umbraled, umbral engrams react to it. You're going to love this next part. Secret stash containing twisted energy for empowering the pris prismatic recaster and altered elements for umbral engrams. Okay. Go throw some cake in it. Okay. Ah, okay, bulk is... Bulk dropped, like, 300 in, it looks like. And it gave us an umbral engram. And now I can do whatever this is. Unlock basic umbral focusing capabilities for the prismatic recast. Okay, so this should let us pick what we're doing with it. Oh, good, it's got many upgrades, okay. 
Once a day, earn a bonus Umbral Engram by completing playlist. Okay. Slightly increased chance of finding Umbral Engrams. Umbral Engrams awarded from successful hero contact missions. Okay. Defeating. Okay. Wow. These are going to be absurd. Okay. Sure. Gifts of Light and Dark. So that's what I just did. And this is the Umbral Focusing. Knowledge of the Darkness unlocks the ability to focus Umbral Engrams and choose the rewards within. So, Sword, Gear, Legacy Content, Dredgen Focused. Or, okay, so this is probably actually just Weapon. Okay. Interesting. And we've got Bounties. Good. Which give more of the currency. Okay, cool. And charge sharpster. Okay. I'm going to start with weapons, just because I tend to find weapons more interesting. So, so what are these? Improved. Okay. Okay. Gotta grab all the bounties. Because if there's anything that I've learned from Destiny, it's grab the bounty. Oh, wait, these only give experience. Well, fucking never mind then. If they don't give the resource, it's not worth it. Hope you get something good this time. And don't forget who gave it to you. Okay, we got a kinetic weapon and. Okay, so Keske, both of you. Auto rifle, false promises. It's very pretty. I imagine I might hate that sight, but we'll see. High impact frames. Ooh, I do tend to like high impact frames with Rampage and Overflow. Cool. And Hollow Words, which is a fusion rifle. Okay. Unrelenting. Directly defeating targets. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, cool. Very interesting. There, I did your thingamajig. Gambit's always looking for guardians. You in? Ah, I couldn't have done it better myself. You're a natural. It's time to put that seed to work. If you plan on helping Eris commune with the shadows or whatever, you need to recharge the seed with darkness each week. The recaster can do a lot. Its primary function is keeping that seed charged. Speaking of which, looks mighty empty. Drifter's usual grin creeps back across his face. I kind of like this. I'm the general, you're the enforcer, right? Check the recaster and head out, head back out there, hero. I, I just checked the recaster. Oh my god. Stop sending me back to this thing. Gotta make sure the seeds charge up for Eris' little phone calls to the darkness. Otherwise, all you're gonna hear is static and interference. No one likes that. Charge up and bring me uh, the umbral junk to tune up my tech. We'll be kicking right along in no time. Contain the spreading darkness. Okay, so we have to do the public events on Io and Titan. Okay. Okay. Wait, did that say the menagerie? It did say the menagerie. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna hit up Titan then, just because when the else am I ever gonna have a, a reason to visit goddamn Titan? I can always use your Wait, why does it seem to think I've already completed whatever this is? Hmm? I I have the bow equipped right now. I send it to myself. Um Okay. Where are we going then? Really? The flashpoint is the Tangled Shore right now? Okay. Um, doesn't look like we can do the event on Io or on Titan yet. So let's head out to Io so I can show off this extremely silly bow. Uh, 
I probably won't use it for very long, just because I want to be working on the the new grenade launcher. But I will use it for at least a little bit. Um. Poor tired cat. I don't know why he's so tired. To the best of my knowledge, he spent all of last night passed out in that bed with the other cat laying on top of him. Or vice versa. They kept swapping. Um... Oh, damn it, I missed a day. Fuck. I just realized that I missed a day on my, um... My Pokemon Go missions. Oops. Uh, come on. God, that bow looks so dumb, I want it. You have multi-threading rendering on your options? I, like, for... For, um... I can't words right now, I'm sorry. <sighs> Valorant? Oh, so this is the thing I like. So you can see right now, if we fire it here... Oh, the new but Wait, it is? I did not see that. Why is it in my Postmaster? Um, so we've got this sort of, like, secondary... Camera? Or secondary sight? And when it locks in, that's when you will have limited... Uh, dispersion. My I didn't think my inventory was full. Um, and now you can see there's lightning running down my... Oh, good, that did work. Uh, there's lightning running down, like, the bow itself, or the arrow itself, but there's also some on, like, the, the capacitors on the side. Damn it, and I just wasted it. Fuck. But yeah, it's, it, I'm very on board with this bow getting more, uh, I'm very on board with this bow getting more stuff. Because, uh, what we got was a catalyst for this bow, which means that, when, it's basically a, a quest that is attached to just using this bow. In this case, it's just get a bunch of kills with this bow. Uh, and if you do so, it gets additional abilities and becomes masterworked, which enables it to do a couple other silly little things, like spawn orbs of light, which make it easier for you to do uh, supers, or for people around you to do supers. Damn it. There we go! But then sometimes you get that beautiful lightning rod. The other, in this case, uh, the masterwork for it will do that, but it will also give us the ability um, to use other arc damage to set up for Lightning Rod. Which won't matter a ton, but there will be times where it will certainly help. Damn it. I assume I can bank this? Yup, okay, good. Can bank the big carryable thing. Okay, I will also send the bow to myself in a minute. Uh, once we are done here... Wait, I do have boats, what the hell? I didn't realize I had any. Wow, it is like Gambit, kind of, in that, like, Blockers are appearing and fucking up our plans. Concentrated darkness coalesces nearby. What does that mean, precious? Oh, that? Got it. Fuck! I keep forgetting this rocket launcher doesn't have homing! I think that's the heroic, so I probably shouldn't be going there. 
Oh, it's a kinetic bow. Right. That's why it got sent away. Um, fuck. I meant to clear out my inventory and completely forgot about it. Damn it! That should have had lightning rod. Get kicked! Always love a good murdering a hobgoblin with a spin kick. Sorry, there's a bunch of things going on right now, so I don't feel like I can focus and or be funny. No! Damn it, I was trying to help. Also, good lord, everyone is using that grenade launcher, aren't they? Like, fair enough. We all want to get the progress done on it, but it's also a really just solid grenade launcher for a single barrel, uh, not single barrel, for a breech-loaded pain in the ass. Damn it! Okay, while I'm dead, let's do all this transferring real quick. Okay. All of you, to the vault, I say! Okay, there we go. Here, your bow. Go to you, because you've actually got anti-barrier. Okay. Now then. Oh my god. Oh, this site is awful and I love it. I do need some fucking void. Void damage. Oh right, this has shield piercing. I can just fire right through this. Ah, fuck you! Oh god, I love this gun. Holy shit! Goodbye! Damn it, you're all supposed to detonate each other. There we go. Whew, that was annoying. Did anyone pick up this thing? Okay, they did. Good. Ooh, I was hoping that would do more damage. Okay. Okay, so that is exactly what's happening. Okay, so those thing, those, like, lighting things are... Uh, the darkness spawning some kind of bloom. And the champion's trying to steal them somehow. Or the darkness, like, illuminating a bloom? Fuck. Yeah, I think it depends on which one you have if you're fighting Vex or Cabal. Because the first one I did was fighting Cabal, but this one's Vex. Damn it, now they're a higher light level, because we're at skull rank. Basically, we're, we're near the end at this point. 
So they're harder to kill. Holy shit, we made it to 100. God damn it, I hate these Minotaurs. I'm not carrying any Void for some reason, and I haven't been lately. Oh, because I don't just run around with Recluse anymore, that's why. Damn it. Sorry, the damn it there was because I was trying to hit a more useful target, and I... Didn't... Oh, that's what we're going after. Okay. Fucking taken Minotaur is being all invisible and shit. It's just rude. I have not seen a health bar for this yet. There we go. Ask and ye shall receive. What the fuck is... Okay, hang on. You dickheads, fuck off. Shit, I do not have anything to deal with, uh, unstoppable boy. Uh. Yay, that worked. <laughs> Technically. So does it still only drop one chest? I Weird. Enjoy okay. raiding. Hey, the art is project. How are all of you doing? Welcome. Right. You're probably watching an ad. I will do that again in a sec. Uh, but for those of you who didn't come in with an ad, welcome, welcome all. Uh, if the rest of y'all who are already here have not heard of the art is project, you should 100% go check them out. Uh, they are one. I believe they're now doing a hundred day streaming challenge. It looks like. Uh, but they are a collective, yeah, collective streaming channel uh, for folks who don't necessarily, like, want to deal with the responsibility or the, the just, like, pain in the butt of running their own Twitch streams. Uh, so they are doing sort of a collective one. And while they're doing some, it looks like they're definitely doing some gaming as part of the more of a gestalt, sure, yes, a gestalt Twitch channel, that's great. Um, uh, uh, they're doing some gaming over there, I know I was watching them play, fuck, what were they playing? I watched like three Twitch streams yesterday, so they've all blocked out of my brain. Wow, I don't remember what anyone I watched played yesterday, whoa. I'm sorry, I don't, I, that's just bad. Um, but you should go check them out because they're also a wonderful, uh, art focus channel as well. Hang on. Uh, they've got a bunch of artists there who, like I said, don't necessarily want to deal with the pain of running their own channels. So they're just doing their stuff there as a wonderful gestalt Twitch channel. Uh, and yes, yeah, so welcome, uh, Zuo, and The Art Is Project, and Poet, and Lucina QT. Uh, yes, this is Lair of Lore. I am Cap, and we are playing Destiny 2 because the new season started today, and while they continue to piss me off with some weird, weird thing, the poor choices in the form of their, their lead developer being a scarab lord and thinking that that's how you do a good video game. In general, I really do like Destiny. What the? Oh, that's the new... Oh, my... Okay, I understand that now. It's never not going to be Bounty Chore Simulator because that's what Destiny is. Um, year 3 has been... Every three months, you have a new, a new thing, and that is just an ex. It is a thing that you do. Uh, the first two were match made, uh, sort of like. I can't get a lock on anything. Not not dungeons, but kind of like dungeons. Uh, then last season and this one that just started now seem to be focused on these public events. 
and they added a new dungeon as well. Actually, I guess for all of year three, we're on our second dungeon now. Uh, which are quite fun, honestly. So I'm hoping that the new dungeon... It comes in in... Four hours? Two hours. Four hours. I think it comes in four hours. It comes in at 5, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Um, and should be interesting because we know nothing about it. But... Basically, today, they announced a whole bunch of stuff. Oh my goodness, that's Centurion. And that's Centurion. And that Colossus, who I did not notice initially. Here, have, have some presents. Ha! Sucks to be you. I have Anti-Barrier. Also a finisher that I just wanted to use because it's silly. This is my bloom. Screw all of you. Uh, but basically, it looks like this new, uh, this this public event that's happening is mostly just Gambit. Like it's just Gambit out in a public area without enemy or without uh, player enemies. Because as of today, the pyramid ships have arrived. That that one is sitting here on Io. Um. Oh fuck. Crap? Hang on. Uh, the pyramid ships have arrived, and we are actively trying to drain... I guess they're pyramid fighters? Of energy. To stop them... Actually, not to stop them from doing anything. To communicate with them better, because Eris might be going nuts. Or because the darkness wants to talk and no information is... I was about to say no information is bad information, but that also sounds like... No, actually, yeah, no matter how you read that statement, it's it's true. Uh... I'm not sure about streaming the dungeon tonight because now I'm not sure if I'm doing the dungeon tonight. Because I might be doing a thing with uh, Chewie that is not streaming. Chewie and a bunch of other people. Because uh, we have a somewhat regular ritual of a thing that we do to relax and play Killing Floor 2 off stream. Uh, and it looks like we're doing that tonight, so gonna have to wait and see if that does actually happen. Crap, 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 crap. Ah, uh, crap. Okay, well now I'm just carrying this bloom and can't dunk it, because there's blockers. Crap, crap, crap. Crap, crap, crap. I'm not being helpful right now, but I can't let them have this bloom. There we go. Where'd the... There was a champion. Where'd he go? Ah, screw you. You don't get to throw up a barrier. I get to ignore barriers. Ooh, ah, uh, nope, nope. I do not want to run in and fight gladiators with a bow. Even if it is a very silly bow. Shit. Shit. Why am I using this spec? I just realized. Like, if I want to be using fire, I can use... Or solar... I can use the one that lets me recharge off of kills. Why am I not doing that? Oh, because I like shooting in the air because I'm silly. Derp. Oh, hello. You all just spawned right in front of me. That was a bad spot for you to appear. Please, never mind. That was a fine spot for you to appear. Please stop shooting me. Nope, 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 nope. Bad missiles, bad missiles hurt. Gimme all these moats. Gimme all these moats. Please stop shooting me! Whoop. Ooh, okay. 
I, I think you might be romanticizing year two, because you still don't have to do that now. Like, you can. It gets you some minor benefits, but once you're at max light level, all of your weekly bounties don't really do that much. So there's no... Like, there's... The seasonal stuff is now basically the only way to go up, so you once you're at max light, you just do whatever you want to do. Crap. Like, this... I, I am... Oh, yeah, there's been a max light level for a long time. There's always been a max light level. Like, since Destiny 1, there's been a max light level. Crap! There... Okay, there is not a max light level on the artifact, but there is a, there is an artificial max light level on the artifact in that after a certain point, it just becomes untenable to increase it any further. There is a max uh, soft cap, or max non-artifact cap, which right now is 10... 6? It's 1060 or 1040. It just went up from... I'm kind of annoyed that we were going up by 10s each each season, and last season they went, ah, let's just jump straight to 1,000, and now they're like, yeah, it'll go up by like 6. But it, it doesn't matter because of the way Destiny balances. Destiny doesn't care if you're above the recommended light level. Like, they, all that Destiny cares about is are you below the recommended light level, because then I'll punish you. If you're above it, then I'm going to scale you down to the light level, no matter what. Like, honestly, it's always been kind of an issue. Nope, fuck. It doesn't care that much. Like, it really doesn't care that much. Hang on. I, I've done endgame rating, though. It doesn't care that much if you have all that much higher power level. Provided you have the gear that at the time is broken, which for the beginning of year two or year three was just, do you have an Izanagi? Like, you will, and you are at at least, actually, not even that. Like, folks were doing the, I can't remember the name of the raid. Oh, fuck, we're doing heroic. Oh, good. Uh, fuck, what's it called? Garden of Salvation. Yeah. Oh, hello there. Please leave me alone. Uh, started doing Garden of Salvation at, like, 960 when it was supposed to be done at 980. Like, it... It's never been that that big of an issue because, I mean, well, Destiny 2 player Destiny players are also absolutely ludicrous. Look at the folks who did... Uh, was it Vault of Glass solo with, um, what's it called? Uh, no man, no man beyond, no lamp, the, the terrible shotgun. Ooh, I, well, I will say that I, <laughs> I, I cannot speak to PvP. Like, I enjoy PvP, but I do not play survival because it's just not, I don't find it fun. So I just don't. I did it enough to get Recluse and then haven't touched it since. So my perspective on PvP is always going to be weird. Also, PvP doesn't count artifact light level. 
it only counts gear light level. Unless survival is different from the other light activated PvP events, which it might be. But I know, like, Iron Banner doesn't count, uh, like, it, it completely ignores your artifact. Or, artifact light level, because you can still use the mods and such. Oh, fucking hell. Wait, did that actually kill him? But... But I didn't do PvP at the beginning, so I don't know if it did at the time either. Crap! I know... I have very bad long-term... I No, that's a lie. I have bad memory. Um, I know at the launch of last season, the first uh, Iron Banner used Artifact Light Level, but that's mostly because they also escalated the max light level from 960 to 1010 out of nowhere. Uh, all the other ones besides the first one didn't count it, but again, I don't play survival, so I haven't checked to see what they're doing with that one. Ugh, damn it. And yeah, Trials of Osiris was definitely one of those not, not for me. So I would not know on that one. Oh shit, I didn't get an umbral for that one. Which I guess makes sense. Um, collect umbral traces by participating in Nightfall, Ordeal, Nightmare Hunts, and Crucible Control. Oh good, I love Crucible Control. And a bunch of Twisted Energy. Beautiful. Okay. Um, so what are these other... I didn't actually read any of these quests when I picked them up. Oh. <laughs> I just need to defeat more Cabal with finishers. Okay, I could do that pretty easily. Okay. Yeah, out of curiosity, does... Do, 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 do... Oh, wait. Survival actually has light level turned off. Never mind, then. Or light level advantage disabled, yeah. So I don't know for sure at all, then. They tried it in Iron Banner as a test and went, oh, we fucked up? Yeah. But I, I can't check Trials of Osiris, so I don't know for no on that one either, but... Trials is very much not my jam. We tried it the, f like, 10th, I think, 10th, Apple and I tried it the week it came out, and I was like, oh, right! I don't like, I don't like that, that style of PvP to begin with, and I really don't like playing against people who actually do like it, because they're gonna be good at it. I'm still annoyed that I can't interact with whatever the hell that thing is. But I can hurt, I can shoot it. So it does have, like, it can be damaged. Um, I agree that bounties themselves are not inherently fun, but... Bounties just being a thing that I do while I'm out doing stuff that I do actually find fun. Just... Okay, I think that's got to be also another one. Has always been fine with me. Like, I... Generally, my thing with Destiny is to go, Okay, here is the thing that I am working on. What bounties can I complete while I'm doing that? Um... That was a weird noise. I should try out the new auto rifle, honestly. But if I'm being honest, I should actually be using this. You're not really arguing. Like, we, we have a difference of opinions, but that's not an issue. Like, no worries. I'm sorry if this discussion made you salty, but I, I am not... I have no issues with the discussion itself. 
Um, but I also kind of understand, like, not... I, I, I understand that not enjoying the game since Opulence, because also Opulence was developed by a different group. And, frankly, I've had... I... I've had a lot of issues with Destiny 2 in the past two seasons, but they have mostly been related to Bungie's use of horrible, horrible fear of missing out by going like, hey, here's this awesome story event that everyone can take part in. Oh, you figured out the puzzle. You have a week to do it now or else you don't get the reward. I'm like, what? I like, that doesn't give people a chance to figure it out. That gives the crazy people on Reddit a chance to figure it out, and then everyone else a week to scramble and follow and do exactly what they told them to do. And... Eh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's learn the gnawing hunger is in the Gambit uh, Darkness Emgram, which is good because it's a great gun that nobody can get anymore because it only... You can only you can only get it on certain weeks of reckoning, and no one wants to fucking do reckoning because it's a pain in the ass. I actually don't remember which one uh, gnawing hunger is. Uh... Oh yeah, I've literally never seen that gun. I am intrigued and happy that I'll be able to actually get it. Huh. But yeah, like the Bungie has said that they're a... okay. Here's the thing. Bungie has said after uh, season of the dawn had massive issues with FOMO that we understand what we did wrong and won't do it again. And then they did it again with, uh, 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 Season of the Worthy. Admittedly, Season of the Worthy was very likely already done with development, if not, uh, or at least very nearly done when they said that about the Dawn. So it's entirely possible that it wasn't a thing that they could just go back and fix. So hopefully we'll see this season being better. However... The fact that this season's event is once again a thing that you need to do on a planet surface and find people to do, and looks like it could very easily do the same thing that the Seraph Towers last season did, which was scale up to needing six coordinated people when you can only fucking have three coordinated people and maybe three randos if you get very lucky. Uh, I have concerns that they've over that they've uh, fucked that up again, but we'll see. We will see. Like, that's why I really like the first two seasons, because we had a, we had a match-made thing that you went to go do with people. So even if you didn't have people, you could go find people. And that's why I liked the idea, even though we never actually did it, but I liked the idea of the heroic sundial. Um, so, I don't think Reckoning is bad, but the problem is that no one... When, every, when Reckoning was, like, the thing that people were doing, you could get people to do Reckoning 2 and deal with Reckoning 2 enough to get to Reckoning 3. Right now, no, it's very difficult to get a group of people to do Reckoning 2. Like, if you manage to load into a match of people doing Reckoning 2, it will be amazing, and then at least one person will immediately drop out the first time they die. And it's just... Ugh. Uh, that fucking bridge. Just going across that fucking bridge. Yeah, that's the other thing, is that there's no reason to do a lower reckoning once you've already done one. I'm just gonna have to go somewhere else, or, like, reload this, because there's nothing here. No one is here. And it says that you can do this on Titan, but I wasn't seeing any... I wasn't seeing the public event marker for it on Titan, so we'll go check. Am I supposed to be doing nightmare? Well, it's not nightmare hunts. It was a whole bunch of things. It's... This is um, uh, nightmare ordeal 
or Nightfall Ordeal, Nightmare Hunts, or Crucible Control. But I'm also at 90% completion for the 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 silly weekly thing attached to this new mission, so I'm just trying to get that done while I was sitting there, but... Okay, so it does look like Titan doesn't actually have these spawning yet. Which I kind of assumed, but I just wanted to check and make sure. Curses. Because, yep, the recurring issue of now we just need to... It's a public event, so we need to find people. But yeah, that's... That has been... As someone who came back to Destiny 2 at the tail end of year 2 and the beginning of year 3, like, that was my long-standing issue with, um with Gambit, is that I really got into Gambit, and then when it wanted me to start doing these Reckoning things, I was like, okay, that's... Okay, I'll try that. Oh, no one's doing them. So, I can't do them. Which sucks, because I do actually prefer uh, Gambit Prime, but I can't get the gear that works best in Gambit, or that works uniquely in Gambit Prime. Collect whatever darkness they hold. Hey, hero. Ready for a gunfight? I mean, does a grenade launcher count as a gun, or just a weapon of horrible, horrible destruction? I I saw you said something about Valorant, Tramor, and I was focused on the discussion about Destiny, and if I start thinking about the other one, I would forget what I was saying, so I didn't actually intuit what you said. And now I'm trying, I'm going to have to spend the next couple seconds trying not to, or minutes, time, time, trying not to die, so it might take me a minute. It was something about bots, that much I saw. No, oh, damn it. This grenade launcher is very strange. I can't decide yet if I like it or not. But I'm intrigued to see what its catalyst turns it into. Oh god, but it has the slowest reload. Yeah, the the new bow is interesting. Like I like it, but it definitely feels like it's not going to be something that I I love the sights on. Yeah, um this this season's season pass uh gun or exotic gun is a grenade launcher that does if you hit something directly it basically blights them or it gives you um what's it called it, it poisons them uh and if you hit the ground it drops a blight on the ground on the bank. um eh. i understand not liking season passes but at the same time it's a solid way to monetize a game um, and the only saying this as someone who ran all of the season passes and only didn't complete the last one um, but my my reason for not completing the last one was mm, but I find them relatively easy to complete but that is because I have no issue with doing the, uh, just running out and going doing bounties to, hang on, get back here and die. Also, because I'm one of those nutters, and this is why I can't play WoW anymore, also without supporting Blizzard, um, who has one of every class and plays them with some regularity. So, season passes are generally pretty easy for me to do in that case because I just play on a different character when I feel like I'm done with one. Or done with whatever I wanted to do on one. Since they just share the same season pass experience. Um... Nope, fuck you. Nope!
Um, okay, that is actually working decently. Um, but personally, I generally, aside from like weekly, especially, uh, it feels like most activities do give more experience than a bunch of bounties. Plus, bounties have, uh, if you're really trying to use bounties for increasing experience, they have the diminishing returns of eventually you just switch over to the those piddly little uh, repeating ones that give basically nothing. Ooh, it is definitely, I, I, I would need to check, but I would feel safe saying that that is not the case of, uh, Actually, I wouldn't say for the raid, because I'm never sure with raids, because I I raided a, at the beginning of year three, and not since. Because there haven't been any new raids. Um, I just have not cared. And I just don't... I, I really appreciate the way the Destiny raids work. I They're not always the thing for me. Um... I don't know by comparison to raids, but just like doing strikes and nightfall ordeals and that such is almost always better than turning in bounties. Um, aside from like the the major weekly bounties, but those are also just easier to do long term anyway, by their very nature. Hang on. Um. Wow, we did not do well on that one. But, did I get what I needed to... Fuck you! We only did 8%? How did we only do 8% of whatever it was? Um... <laughs> Sorry, Zuo, I play too many, uh, too many games. So I can't really focus on any one of them, except Valorant right now. Uh, but I will try and play some more Deep Rock Galactic soon. Um, the middle pillars of the... Tr I don't even know what that means. Like, what do you mean by the middle pillars? Um... Another one popped up yet? Not yet. Okay, because it looks like I'm only going to need to hang around one for like a couple minutes. There we go. Uh, not even a couple minutes. For like part of a... There we go. Part of an event to finish this. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, God. Please don't. Okay. I don't want to get stuck in just a branch. Yeah, I've... I have never been someone who needs to, like, play... God, if I was someone who needed to play optimally, I don't think I'd be, ever be able to play a game, because I do not play anything well. Um, but I very much maintain a policy of just, like, I play things until I stop having fun. So I don't Oh my god, you fucker. You didn't even let me grab the thing. Um. So, like, I've never felt pressured to do the optimal anything. Maybe in something vaguely competitive like Valorant or, uh... Uh, what's it called? Um. God damn it, I thought you were reloading. Uh, or PUBG, but I also haven't played PUBG in literally years at this point. Like, the best example for how unoptimally, or how aggressively I try and fight my own optimal attempts to play is I adore Dark Souls, and I 
there there is some sad part of my brain that is currently very dedicated to remembering the amount of parry frames and dodge frames that exist for certain uh certain weapons and certain like dodge states in dark souls largely so that i know that it doesn't matter enough to care because like in dark souls 1 their dodge system is royally stupid like i love dark souls 1 the dodge system in dark souls 1 is very stupid there are 12 different varieties of dodge that you can have uh that vary wildly from uh there are four major states and then uh three sub states under each one of those and aside from actually that's not right there's 13 because the the very final one is the only one that is significantly different which is you have a terrible horrible roll that is just the worst roll you could possibly have and it's just like a you fall over on the side of the ground and you don't have any iframes uh, but all of the other ones are basically uh, the the final group of them you have a I think you have eight yes you have, uh, should have eight iframes during the entire animation and that is the bad roll and that is the role that is very easy to like get out of because it's the it's the, oh for goodness sake uh it's the i'm wearing way too much gear and should probably have, like figure out my gear distribution a little bit better uh, all of the other roles are basically do you have less than 75 percent of your weight used okay you have at least 12 uh uh, 12 iframes per roll. And if you really, like, care, and just are wearing literally nothing, you can get a whole 13 iframes per roll. And I went and learned that so that I knew that I never needed to... to stress about trying to optimize playing, uh, like, my, my weight management in Dark Souls, because I would. Because I like it enough that I would definitely do that. Also, probably why I like Bloodborne better, since there is no weight management in Bloodborne. Crap. It's a hit. Wait a second. I have solar. What's wrong with me? I don't have solar for you anymore. Sorry. But the blade will kill you for me. There we go. No, he's got the bloom. Fuck. Please stop shooting me. Okay. Ooh, hey, I've got nine motes and the bloom. Wonderful. Shit, 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 shit. Still haven't completely figured out what triggers the heroic. Because it definitely doesn't seem to be no one picks up a bloom. Or no no uh, enemies pick up blooms. So, still waiting to figure that out. Okay, I should have that last 2% now, and I kind of just want to let it go, because... Eh? Hello, Acolyte eyes that aren't even getting spawned by an Acolyte. That's just rude. Here, just, I No, stop. I'm just trying to share all of these glorious rocket-based presents with all of you. What is that beeping? What is that beeping? Oh, is it the bank? I bet it's the bank. Okay, what is this? Oh, you mean inside those pi- Oh, okay. That's... 
yeah, that might be an issue. That would certainly be an issue. Um. Oh, like the... Oh, you think the beeping is a... Is a uh, bloom thing? I don't think so because it's... I think it's the bank. Uh, I think it's because the bank was Sovereign locked. Incantations break momentarily, but there is still much to uncover. Okay. You have done well to empower Yay, we did the thing. Guardian. That doesn't actually tell me where I need to go to pick up that reward, but hey. Anyway, off to go to a vanguard. Also, was that a Haley coming home? No, it's just all of my dogs losing their shit for some reason. Fun. Right? What? Mm -hmm. I. Uh. Rit. Really? I am. Um, you you did maintenance. Like four hours ago. What? Why are you do? No, three hours ago. What? Why are you doing? Why are you doing this again? Ah, uh, but I don't want to do the fucking nightfall. Are you not actually doing maintenance and that was a lie? That was a lie. Okay. That's weird. Okay, what is the fucking nightfall right now? Huh, that doesn't actually tell me anything. Okay, sure. Screw it. Let's do it. See you meandering. Thanks for stopping by, friend. Oh, goodness. Have a good time with whatever you are doing for yourself. Yes, soon, Sarah Jane, soon. Hello, cat. Don't, no nibbles. You nibbly little bastard. I wonder if we have a package that's supposed to be getting delivered. Maybe that's what they're all reacting to. Oh, good. I, uh... The fuck? Okay, sure, I'll take some free shit. I guess. Wait, what the... Oh. It's an emblem that I don't have. Sure, I think. Damn it. I'm... Did that count? <laughs> Technically! <laughs> I got 3% for that! Because I showed up at the end. Also, I didn't realize it was that one, and I fucking hate that strike. Oh, but it counted- okay, okay, so I can just keep doing these, and I'll be free. So that counted for one of them. Maybe if I'm very lucky, I'll get dropped into another one that's technically already complete. Because I hate this strike. Mostly because I'm not good at this strike. And I feel like I always end up with at least one other player who doesn't know how the orb mechanic works. And if there's one game that I'm not going to use voice chat for, it's Destiny. <laughs> 
Mostly because I don't think it's worth it, given that the only thing I've ever wanted to use voice chat for in Destiny is to explain how the orb mechanic works for this strike. Because for some... So, for anyone who's never seen it, um, this strike has certain bosses who are... Oh my god, and I'm... Why is there one person in here? Uh, this this strike has actually I think it's just one boss uh, who is immune to damage because they have a special shield and the only way to get through the shield is to throw an orb at them uh, and they spawn these orbs around them however it takes more than one orb to break the shield unless you throw the orb to another person first uh, if you pass the orb to another person and then they throw it, then it works just fine. Please stop. Oh, okay, so I'm getting them for kills. Okay, now I understand. Also, I definitely should have just tried to grab 10th to do this. I don't know why I didn't think about that. So after I do this and the next one, hey, Tenth, if you want a partner, I am more than willing to just play through some stuff. Uh, play through some nightmare hunts, because we can fucking, like, knock out nightmare hunts in no time at all. I mean, yes, also matchmaking is fucked, which isn't going to help anything, but yeah. Oh, shit. Sure, let's use that as the excuse, because I totally remember that matchmaking is fucked. Wait, are these counting as grenade kills? I doubt they are, but I'll take it if they are. No, that's counting as heavy grenade launcher kills, okay. Um, Two hunts worth of stuff to get it done? Oh, well then I'll probably get it done with two of these. Without any trouble these these orbs so you oh right you do use it here too oh my god nope they're just being stupid okay oh right they don't actually spawn immediately okay now these things are out So, if you're smart, you throw the orb to an ally, then throw it at the target, and it does damage. Like, it actually does more- oh my god. Oh fuck, I can't even res him. Great! And I can't even- oh good, I can throw it through the- God damn it. Nope, okay, that's still not Haley. That's still my dogs just being assholes. Here, have the orb. There we go. So see how it's charged now? So now it does that. The problem is... Damn it, try and convince random ass players to do that. Or make them realize that they can do it. Ooh, okay, I thought that was gonna miss, honestly. Ah, shit. They... I don't know why they threw that at me when they saw I was holding one, but okay, it's fine. Now we get to do it again! Wait, are there... Okay, no, there's not. Hello, fire. I do not want to stand in fire. Fire hurts. Shit. Okay. Nope. Your shield is still up. Crap. Crap. 
crap. I did not actually mean to hit that Taken Scion directly, but hey. It still worked out in my favor, somehow, weirdly. Damn it. Doesn't work if we're both carrying relics. Oh my god, I don't think they actually understand how it works, because they're still carrying that relic. I think they're trying to charge it, honestly. There we go. I, okay, I'm very happy with the amount of weird, um, uh, the amount of umbral engrams I'm getting. If perplexed. Someone tell Drifter's machine is broken. It's only giving you Swashbuckler. I is that not just what Drifter does? Like I have four Swashbuckler or had before I just went. Ah, oh, none of these are actually good. I'm gonna get rid of all the bad ones. I had a lot of Swashbucklers for some reason for quite a while. Well, now I understand why I got dropped into one of these that was already like finished because. The people who were running it went, fuck it, we're not waiting for a fourth. Let's just go. On the upside, I am getting a massive... Oh, fuck! Massive fuckload of, uh... Umbral Traces, it seems. I forget that those count as vehicle kills. Um... Ugh, god, but not as many as I would have liked. Okay. That's a pain. Always love when matchmaking breaks with a new season. Screw you. And screw you. No, well, okay, that's just rude. Wow, and now none of them are giving me Umbral. What the fuck? Just thought about how weird a phrase that is. Um, and I'm just gonna stop thinking about how weird a phrase it is. Oh shit. This is it. No. No! Oh god, this fight. Okay. Okay, so I hate this fight because you're constantly shifting uh, uncontrollably every five seconds? Or is it ten seconds? Uh, between the two versions of this fight. So between fighting a Taken Ogre and... Okay, it looks like it's actually about 15. Uh, between fighting a Taken Ogre and a normal Hive Ogre... Fucking hell. Um... And mercifully, you get swapped if you're still, or if you're dead, so you can still get revived, but it just means that you never really know where is going to end up being safe. <laughs> Oliver, shut up. There is actually nothing to be barking about. Like, worst case, there is a delivery that might actually be here, if I'm very lucky. Sorry, he he refuses to stop barking lately at everything. Oh god. Yep, uh, one of our dogs is named Oliver. We've got Oliver and Cosmo. I forgot that I was working on the essence of insanity. I guess using this thing is actually helping that pretty aggressively. Oh my god. Fucking thralls. Fucking thralls. On the upside, 
we do seem to have a faster respawn rate, given that uh, we're down a player. So hey, that's that's fun. If that's actually what's happening. Damn it. Oliver, shut up. <sighs> Sorry, I'm... I've been growing slowly more aggravated um, with this because the other dog, uh, like Cosmo, has, is much younger and has learned to not bark. Meanwhile, my dog, who didn't used to bark, just refuses to stop lately. And I don't know why. So many hive, so many goddamn hive. Uh, yes, the Oliver was the cat in Oliver and Company, which is not what he's named after anyway. Oh my god, we have a third. Who is at the beginning of the strike, it looks like. Good. Good. What? Why do I always play when... The expansion, or not the expansion, when the season comes out, when I know that it's always gonna be Fuck Sword. Yep, sorry, I have anti barrier, so you can just suck it. Yep, you too. God damn it, and the, the other person just like raced ahead. Okay, fine. Or dot? What the hell? Where is the other person? Okay, rude, but mostly just annoying. Because I could just keep doing this if you keep throwing those barriers up. Mostly I'm just annoyed that that didn't stick. <laughs> I think I'm the only one now. I think I might be the only one now. Wait, I have two small gifts? I didn't think those stacked. Your timing is impeccable. And frankly, quite unlikely. Yeah, I think the other. I think I'm down two people now. Crap. That's annoying. Oh, well. Oh, wait, nope. They're still here somewhere. They're just so far off that I can't. Uh, even go check their camera. That's impressive. Do, 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 do. I guess they're probably just annoyed that I didn't, or that I stayed back to kill that yellow bar that they didn't want to fight. But I'm doing this for the Umbral Essence, so... I'm gonna kill anything I can? <laughs> or knock off the map if I can? Ah, oh, shit, I missed. Yes. 
And he exploded. Good. Fuck! This is part of why I hate this strike. There we go. Like, when? where's the... Where's the kill box? Alright. It's also kind of why I hate people, too. Oh, well. Oh, well. I only have to do it one more time. That's the witch. Remember, we're here to save her. With guns. Don't you dare... Okay. Don't you dare make me teleport, like, three feet. Oh, thank you, Umbral Traces. So many beautiful Umbral Traces. And no vault keys. Which makes me a little sad, but hey. Oh my god, you fool. Take the orb. Now throw it at her. Oh my god. You fucking twit. That's why you pass the orb, because it just shatters her shield in one go. Oh, God. Shit, that missed. God, I only get umbral traces for shit I kill? Ugh, crap. That seems stupid, quite frankly. right past her? I think it did. No, damn it, fuck. Ugh. On the upside, uh, that's actually going better now. Because when they all just stand in one spot and stand in my, like, my, my blight juice... It, it just works good. Yes, I died there. I accept that. But it worked in my favor. And I am currently of the opinion that I'm partnered with an idiot. Because that has yet to be disproven, so I'm sticking with it. God. Nope, that was wrong. the orb and throw the orb to partner who will hopefully not do anything stupid. I'm 
mean, besides the fact that he keeps avoiding my own uh, blight orbs, which is mostly just funny. What? How did that only kill one of them? Fucking hell. Wow, I'm not even getting umbral traces every time I kill them. Ooh, okay. What are you doing? Oh shit, come on. Oh right, I forgot about this part. They just threw the orb at a knight. God, on the upside, at least the scions are stupid and just stand in that. Here, take it. I there wasn't a okay, I guess there was a rock. The worst part is that there's still a whole nother part to this fight after this. Okay, that one was my fault. I shot a rocket launcher at my own feet and was unhappy about the outcome. On the upside, it looks like I'm going to finish this this uh, this run. Cuz I think she summons a whole bunch of yeah, she summons a whole bunch of ads on all of her phases. That's just rude, hiding behind the portal we can't see through. Okay. Sweet, sweet glimmer that I actually kind of need because it's the very beginning of the season. Which means that for some reason I'm out. I don't know why. I always seem to be low on glimmer at the beginning of seasons. Probably because I spent the end of the last season uh, grinding stuff. Well, that was my first fucking. Okay, sure. Okay. Go away so that we can advance. Why is my grenade gone? I didn't use my grenade. Okay, and that one I got an umbral trace on something I didn't kill. I'm extra confused. I wasn't paying attention to the rocks. Wasn't paying attention to the rocks. Whew, there we go. Here, I have a present. Nope, 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 nope. Damn it. Stupid shield. <gasps> Wait. Okay, I do like that Umbral Engrams can apparently just, like, drop from anything. Which makes me think that they're probably not considered powerful. Oh, no, I know they're not considered powerful because all the ones I found were the same light level as what I'm currently wearing. But... That still means you can get more of them on a somewhat regular basis, and I'm on I'm on okay with that plan. Uh, 
Oh my god, they're all moving as like a brick. No! Okay, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not dead. Wait, she maintained damage from the last time we fought her? She didn't used to do that, I don't think. Oh, I swear, if I don't actually finish this in one, I'm gonna be real- No, no! Helps when you remember you've got Icarus Dash. No, you fucker, you booped me! Icarus Dash doesn't do much, though, when it's on cooldown. Hey, I finished the thing. Ugh, my teammate booped me off the fucking edge. No, we have to do this. Oh, fuck. God, I hate this strike. On the upside, I don't need to worry about getting more kills. I actually don't know what the upside here is. shooting at her. It doesn't do anything. Okay. Rock just passed. Means it's clear to go. Okay. Damn it. Curse you, empty gun! Okay, I'm almost dead. Stand in the healing. St wow, he filled my healing circle with fire. God damn it. That's both, like, well aimed and very aggravating. I have no idea what she's saying. close. You... How? That was a beautiful dodge. I hate it. Fuck! Okay, that was bad. That was bad, and it was my fault, so hey, double, double trouble. Why would you dash that way? God, my grenade killed her. Hell yes. Oh my god, my grenade killed her. She will find a way to take me again. Please. Just end it. Oh, except now I'm full of glimmer. Damn it! That was like the worst set of items I could have gotten. Oh well. I 
It's not in maintenance. You liar. I... Uh, uh, well, this is doing this. I'm going to load up Valorant so we can download the patch, I guess. I just... Mm. And it refuses to download the patch behind this window. <gasps> Excuse me, what the hell? Yep, there was a Valorant patch that didn't patch the character who really needed a nerf. Instead, they nerfed Sage again. Not to say Sage doesn't need it, but Reyna really needed a nerf more than Sage did. Okay. I believe we are now able to go do this mission. Yeah, we can go do interference now. Um, I think we'll probably call the stream after whatever this mission is. But we'll see. Because somehow I've already been going three hours on what is in theory my day off. I'm very bad about taking days off. But that's what I also get for... Um... That was weird. Um, but that's what I get for Zion's taking the day that every game fucking darkness. updates off. Use the sea to burn them away. What the fuck? That... The download is taking way longer than it should. Like, it's a one gig patch, and it isn't done yet. And I have gig speeds. Oh, by the way, turns out I've, I, I have now checked and just the thing where somehow a, a, a modem router combo has literally worse ethernet uh, connectivity than Wi-Fi is just part of the modem that I have. And given that I rent it from the my ISP uh, and they don't offer another modem for their gig speeds they're just kind of like yeah that's kind of what you got just deal with it so hey that's fun oh fuck you're immune I still feel like trying to introduce myself with a rocket launcher was a good bet oh god I'm low light level for this This is gonna be fun. I do- I am actually really liking this grenade launcher, to be honest. Like, I don't think it's ever gonna be the grenade launcher that I just love and use all the time in, like, Crucible. But... In PvE, when I can very safely expect to have more than two grenades, I really like it. However, it does suck against wizards, but honestly, everything sucks against wizards. Because little fuckers get to float. <gasps> Yay, we finished the thing. Well, we finished this step of the thing. Who knows how many other steps we'll have to go through. Since I can't check right now, or else I would die! Okay, here, you can have that blight personally. Good, I hope you enjoy it. I mean, I assumed this is where we wanted to go, but I guess not. Oh, we're going, okay. Hang on. 
While they're all dead, what's our new objective here? Filthy, what? Complete. Complete the list of objectives and earn filthy loot, luck, luckra? From strike playlist completions, what the hell is, oh, it's like a currency. Okay, 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 okay. Grenade launcher guardian eliminations and grenade launcher multi-kills, okay. I will probably use fighting lions for that instead then, just cause y'all yeah, actually have uh, ammo that way. Okay, stop avoiding my damage, it's quite rude. if these do count as multi-kills for the ones that just sort of like... Oh, shittles! Nope, I overshot. It went right over the ogre's head. Well, okay. This is a weird music choice. Son of a- stop dodging! You're an ogre! You barely have eyes! You have some sort of horrible ocular mass at the front of your face. Oh good, the witness is attackable now. Which means I can fire missiles at it. Ooh, which you're not doing as much as I would like. Damn it. <gasps> I did hit. Yes. <coughs> yeah, run away. Oh. Okay, that's a new one. Why is Nocris talking? Also, isn't Nocris dead? Admittedly, he is a necromancer, but still, isn't he dead? God damn it, I hate these. If I'm remembering who Nocris is properly, which I think I am, because he's one of, uh... He's Crota's... Uh, kid, right? Um, from the Warmind expansion. Um, I... Necromancers mean a very different thing to the Hive, Zuo. Um, the Hive is very big on being dead and not actually dead. Like, the place we're in right now is, an, is the Ascendant Realm, which is a place where uh, the Taken briefly step into, but Hive, uh, hive beings of a certain power or, or greater basically forcibly carve a hole in reality by their very existence uh, in the Ascendant Realm, which they use to... Uh, persist after death and in some cases uh, specific cases manage to reincarnate uh, Nocris however is a necromancer which weirdly for a people who do that um, is actually heretical um, they're very big on if you get killed you will stay dead or you personally will find a way back, but you have to, it's very big on you do it yourself. Not someone, say a necromancer, brings you back from the dead. Like, you have to do it yourself. Um, and his, his goal, if I'm remembering uh, who Nocris is correctly, 
was actually to bring his dead father back. Which, again, I'm not actually sure if I'm remembering if it's Nokris uh, correctly. Uh, they're kind of all liches, but without the phylactery thing. Like, they don't have a physical artifact. But, yeah, kind of. Fuck you. Okay, there we go. Not even chained, they're actually, like, completely free. Um... Oh, I didn't actually disperse that other one. Oops. No, no, no. They are they are 100% alive. Uh, like, when they are alive, they are perfectly living beings. It's just that they become powerful enough and draw power from... Uh, no, they're, they're not outsiders at all. Hang on. Hang on, I gotta make sure that... Ah, I'm gonna fall. Oh, good. Um... They are native to our reality. They are perfectly at home in our reality. Uh, however, they draw power from mostly suffering. Uh, and if they are able to cause enough suffering and grow strong enough from it, then they willingly tear a hole in reality to create their personal ascendant realm. Specifically their own space within the Ascendant Realm called a Throne World. God damn it. I'm gonna fall here. Um, which is basically a place where their... their mind and spirit goes after... their physical body dies. If their physical body dies. Fuck it! God damn it. Sometimes I hate being a warlock. Our jumps are very weird, and there's no recovery if I screw up. Well, okay, there's the Icarus dash, but that's... niche recovery. And keeps not wanting to help me. Uh, basically, they... M I guess you could argue that they sort of make themselves outsiders, but even then, generally, once they're in their Ascendant Realm, their goal is usually just to make their, uh, to find a way to get back into the physical world. Um, like, Savathun, who is currently the bi the Hive Big Bad, um, is, has died at least once and was sacrificed by her brother one of those times. And the way that she came back was basically by being the hive's uh like deity for cleverness so the hive as a collective entity were just like well she's clever enough to to have survived or to like come back from the dead right and because that was what she had established uh for them bef uh, for the hive beforehand their belief that she would find she would be clever enough to to sneak past death enabled her to basically do so. Uh, because the ha uh, Ascendant Hive are like guardians in that they are paracausal, which is to say that they... Oh, this is going to be bad. Um, instead of... Basically, they break they break cause and effect. It's a weird thing to explain. Fuck. Um, but this appears to be the ascendant realm of Nocris, who I don't think should be. I guess technically the hive can't say whether or not someone's allowed to have an ascendant or a throne world. So yeah. I'm d no, like D and D terminology. I. There's enough issues right now where I'm just like, I'm okay with just saying a hard no to using D&D terminology or anything from WotC right now, but... Um, 
I would say it's more just it's a place where their spirit uh, is resting, or their uh, their spirit and functionally their mind, depending on how you want to interpret that. Um, like it still has connections to the physical universe. They can they they can slip in and interact depending on how like what powers they had as a as a living being. So like if they were. Uh, just a big warrior who, hang on, there we go, uh, who happened to get strong enough to, and, and have enough suffering tithed to them, uh, to, oh, that completed the ritual, okay, uh, uh, to create a throne world, they likely would have very little ability to interact with the outside world, but witches and wizards... Uh, who have some, who already had some sort of, like, magic abilities already, generally can still interact with the outside world, even if it's just sending messages. Um, some of them are able to really fuck with, uh, with the rest of the world, though, without really any hindrance? Fuck. Uh, because it's, they can actually only exist in one of the two at a time, so, like, if they ever want to go pop in on their throne world while they are alive to, like, go check on it or do any sort of tweaks with it. No, this is not about D&D, Cheeky Chicken. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm trying to explain the mechanics of the place we are in right now. Um, hang on. I'm also trying to do it well. Well, a giant angry eyeball rock thing shoots at us, and a uh, taken centurion screws around trying to mess with me. Um, I've also now forgotten what words I was just saying. Ah, crap, we've got more health coming. Good. <laughs> Fuck. Why were you not dying in there? That's just rude. Ah, crap! Fucking... Wizards. Goddamn wizards. Whoop. Yeah, like, actually, those are a good example. Those things are shriekers. Um, most shriekers are basically a, a magic uh, construct that the hive use. A lot of the ones that we're dealing with here are the Eyes of Savathun. Uh, who, like I said, was a an Ascendant Hive whose entire deal was basically that she was the Mistress of uh, Deception and had the Hive basically believed that she was clever enough to just escape death and that enabled her to basically just go, Ha! I was prepared. I can just leave my throne world with a physical body. Um, hang on. Uh, these, uh, a bunch of Shriekers are specifically, like, her Shriekers that we've been dealing with throughout Destiny 2, because, uh, and she is able to still control those even while she is, like, not corporal, while she doesn't have a body and is in her throne world. Um, there was only one Eye of Savathun. Now she has more of them. She has a lot of them now. Uh, huh. Uh, the Eye, the one from the, the Strike was just one that was her focus. Oh, good, a Taken Minotaur. Great. Um, Oop. Crap, that could have gone poorly. Actually, wait, no, it couldn't have. This I don't think this grenade launcher can hurt me. Fucking thralls. Um. Oh, good. Yes, I love when a taken goblin is also giving something I'm trying to kill a shield. Er? Oh, 
Ooh, nope, why did I do that? Oh my god, it worked. No, no, why is this out? Fuck! Damn it. Mm. Huh. Well, I have I have good news, Cheeky Chicken. Hopefully that means when you get in, they won't be having as many issues. Uh, God damn, I hate those Seekers. Because, as a rule, it's a new season, so all connections are awful. Eh, honestly, I don't think Destiny... What did... What, hang on, did I change Destiny's mouse sensitivity? I think mine is actually fine. Yeah. Um, but for me, a lot of games have bad default mouse, mouse sensitivity. It just kind of depends. Let's get the hell out of here. Because we were just trying to go to the fucking cradle. Um. So speaking of Destiny lore, you popped open a stream to watch the destruction of the Almighty with, a little, uh, with what little context you had. Any thoughts as a more invested player? I interpret the darkness's messages as best I can. Um, the destruction of the Almighty was a really cool idea. Um, in practice, it should not have taken two fucking hours. Like, the fact that we were told, log in at the reset at 10 a.m. for me. Actually, it took more, or no, 11 a.m. for me, uh, and and watch as um, Rasputin shoots down the the Almighty is really awesome and cool. But the fact that from that from the point where they said it would start to when we finally saw the the war sets actually be visible took 45 minutes for them just to be visible was a pain in the ass. The fact that it then took another 45 minutes for them to start hitting it and causing little, like, sky sparkles was also a pain. To the degree that I had to leave, so I didn't actually get to see the destruction happen firsthand. And I know the idea was that, oh, well, you want it to take as long as possible so people can all get the emblem. But you didn't get the emblem for watching it. You, you got the emblem for walking over to a crater. So, um... It was... It, that's just it. It didn't need to be a TV episode. It could have just been a cutscene. It could have just been a cutscene, and I never expected to want to say, let it just be a cutscene. But that should have been a cutscene. Honestly. It it took literally two hours. Installed Valorant last night, now Windows won't look- Uh... That's fucked. I'm sorry, Odin Son. Like, did you- Did you install it and, like, load it? Because the weirdest thing is that if you didn't turn... Like, if you didn't load Valorant, then that's not even Vanguard. Because Vanguard doesn't install until you load Valorant for the first time. Um, where am I going now? That's not where I'm going. Also, I don't... I'm gonna be honest, it's very difficult, Cheeky Chicken, for me to tell what is part of the the paid season and what isn't. Because I I never see anything that isn't part of the paid season. Because I got the I got when I bought the expansion, I got the stuff that also just came with every season this year. I know that certain things are supposed to be free, but I don't know what any of them are. Uh, like, I know for sure you can do the the, the new public event on IO. Uh, because it's just a public event, so you can't just keep people out of it. Otherwise, I don't know, honestly. Okay. 
Okay, at some point the Valorant patch also fixed, also downloaded, so that's good. Um. Good to see you alive, citizen. Currently install. Okay. Um. No, the Savathun strike is on Titan. Um, do I actually want to focus these? Sure, I'll make one armor and I'll just break the rest down. Or not break the rest down, but you know what I mean. Oh, so now I have to use attuned element to... Oh, okay, so that's what the attuned element is for. Okay, okay, okay. This bank will launder anything you deposit. Useful, ain't it? Oh, yes, we got the new stupid sword. Okay. Okay. Let's get rid of all of these. And, okay, Odinson, it used to do the... It used to not, like, part of the first time you loaded it up was installing uh, Vanguard. But that's not an issue I have seen reported before, so I'm sorry, man. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what you can do from there. And I just don't actually know. Anywhere in this tower, you can't hear that one horn idiot. <sighs> um. Sorry, I'm just trying to clear up my inventory and get actually good gear. Da, 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 da. Also, saving any gear that I actually like the look of, but I don't think there's terribly much of that. Okay. Oh, I forgot to equip that. Probably should have equipped that this whole time, but oh well. Got Windows to load after 15 minutes of blank screen. That's odd. Were you also maybe going through the the May Windows update? Which if I... No, I think it was the April Windows update. What? There was a Windows update that came out somewhat recently and was uh, put out on like the last day of whatever month it was supposed to be put out on. Um, bar, bar, get rid of you, get, I might actually keep that, I like the Seventh Seraph one. I, it didn't take 15 minutes for me, though, uh, Aleph Cat. So, I, that's why I'm confused, because I know Odinson's computer tends to load shit a lot faster. Yes, okay, it was the April update then, that came out, did it come out on the last day of April, or in May? Because I think it might have come out in May. That was a noise. Uh, da -da. Did I ever actually get a thing for completing that? I don't think I did. Hmm. Oh, good. I'll just have that glimmer sitting there forever, waiting for me to have enough space to get that glimmer. I guess I'm gonna have to do something that actually, like, gives me glimmer. Ooh, wait, don't I have these? Yes, I do. Only give experience. That's a weird one. Yeah, that... Yeah. The fact that they do that, ah, it's not ready for everyone yet. We'll we'll do a staggered release. Oh, um, it's it's still gonna break a lot of shit. It's like then it wasn't ready still. Mm. Yay, Microsoft. Checking. Oh God, my bank is full. Okay. Give that. You can get stored. You can get stored. Um. That's actually a not terrible looking robe. I'm kind of impressed. 
that happens so rarely. You all can go straight to the garbage fire. Because you are blue, and we only care about purple on this stream. I'm very happy that I haven't had to care about blues in a very long time. Oh. It's so pretty and so dumb. It's so dumb looking. I love it. Oh, wait, I got two of them. Well, shit, you're getting destroyed because you're lower light level. Ooh, wow, you're actually... Ooh, you're actually better. That is a helmet. You are not better, and frankly, this outfit always looked kind of silly, but I'm going to save it just so that I can hopefully turn it into a... Uh... Uh, uh, an ornament at some point, because it looked silly, but I'm sure I'll find a use for it at some point. Okay, put on the good gear. Okay. Okay. Oh, right, sword. Sword! Haha! -ha! And everything else is on par with whatever I got. Oh, well. All you're getting out of your headgrams is bows and swashbuckler autos. Uh, look at this stupid sword. Oh, my God. That makes me so happy. It's just so dumb. Oh, no, we're not dissing bows, it's just that there's a bunch of really cool uh, weapons with the new season, and Tenth is only getting the bow, which does look pretty stupid. Like, look at this. Look, look at this bow. It's very stupid. It's very stupid. It's also beautiful, though. Ugh. Okay. However, like I said, it's technically supposed to be my day off, and I've somehow been streaming for three and a half hours. Don't know how the hell I managed that. So, I was trying to sprint into a slide there for the end, but I guess that's not going to happen. Um... There are six weapons in the pyra pyramid engram, and you've seen two. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think we are going to call the stream there. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any more. Hey, and good news, we did all of the story missions that are currently available for the DL or for the DLC for this season. It looks like. Which means two, but hey. Um. Yeah. So yeah, thank you all so very much. I will see you all... We'll see if I take a day off this week. Who the hell knows? So probably see you all tomorrow. Um, uh, if I'm honest, I'll probably end up playing some more Valorant soon because I'm really enjoying it. But we'll see. Let's see who I can throw over to. Um... All of my normal folks are not online because this is not a day that I stream on or a time that I stream on. Ha! Huh. That's a pain. I don't think I have someone to throw y'all to. I'm sorry. I guess I will see all of you later then? Sorry, y'all. Um, but thank you very much to Alephcat, Lord Ink Death, Tremor 101, and Dracus for supporting the stream. Um, but yeah, if you like what you saw here, you can find us at all these places down below, and hopefully I will maybe see you tomorrow if I stream. I will try and take a day off this week, but I am very bad about that, so we'll see. Bye, folks. Button. <laughs>